Hello gorgeous people, love the scraps. I'm from Australia. I have um, two more Tilda projects here to share with you all and um, I have actually completed these um, probably earlier this year or late last year but I haven't been able to share them with you all. I do have a few projects um, uh, that I haven't shared yet with you all that I have completed um, like I mentioned at the same time but I, that I will be able to share with you um, now because it's um, a lot colder now. It's winter here. Yesterday, no not yesterday, uh, Saturday was the first day of winter here in Australia and today is Monday so if I thought before I go to the farm today um, I'll be able to share with you guys this project that I have um, created uh, it's a gorgeous altered coffee bottle as well as um, an altered paper bag um, I had a lot of fun creating these two projects and um, I love the colors love the vintage tones uh, I always start off with an image um, depending on what colors I color her with and then I just work around it all these flowers that you see here are all handmade and hand colored also using my distress inks and um, the flowers are by MFTs um, or the flower dyes I've used um, Cherry Lind, um, Sophia's Heart dye here also as well as on the Flourish um, but not the flourish, the, the die cut here. I've also used Tim Holtz birdcage um, on, the, on the bag here, uh, on the edge die at the back here also, Magnolia Duhiki dies um, for this tag, um, Cherilyn die for the bottom butterfly here also, and um, on top of the lid here is a hearts die by Cherilyn, and there's another one right here that I've added and um, also at the back here is another heart die by Cherilyn there also so it's really busy um, with all the layering on there but without saying too much more I'll start off with the um, the little um, altered uh, jar here jar or glass bottle I don't know if you guys can see with the lighting the sun's kind of like facing that way because it's early morning but let me zoom in Okay, um, this isn't like I mentioned an older coffee jar, it's glass, so it's, it is quite heavy. Um, to start off with, I've actually die cut it this Sophia's Heart from a Cherry Lynn die. And um, this one here, um, I think it could be, it's not the French pastry, it's the bigger one. I can't remember exactly on top of my head, but it's the bigger uh, doily by uh, Cherry Lynn there. And I've... Um, I don't think I've mod podged it down. I think I've only just used glue and stuck it down, both of those. And then I just chosen my image, which I've coloured, and um, I wanted to match with the bag, so I have um, coloured with my distress inks and in this sort of like lovely coloured tones um, using aged mahogany and um, what's a dark one, walnut stain in the darker areas to give it like a brown tone her hair is antique, antique linen and walnut stain and I think back then I used to um, colour with a vintage photo in the hair also the face um, is tatted rose and a little bit of vintage photo there um, this is called Tilda with blue blanket I think it is but I've made it in the same coordinating colours there um, so once I've adhered the two die cuts down, I've adhered her down and then this is a magnolia flourish right here that I've just made it to go onto the side there. These flowers are, um, I'm not sure if they're MFT, they could be MFT also and I can't remember the actual name of it but when you go online just type in MFT flower dies and there's heaps of you to choose from and these ones are rolled ones so you have to roll them up and I've coloured them so once I've like die cutted the flowers, they're like in uh, like a strip, I've just used my aged mahogany and walnut stain and then I spritz it with water and just made it like fade out and just really, really beautiful there. And I ink the edges with walnut stain to give it that distress kind of look. So I, I've, once I created those, I adhere the Muffet Stewart leaf punches here first. And the papers that I used there are the Butterfly Garden Paper Collection and then I've adhered the flowers on top of that. And at the back here I've used, um, I can't remember which dye this is exactly, but it's a Border Punch. And then I've adhered a Cherry Lynn um, Butterfly at the top here. And then I have adhered Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch there also. They're not dimensional because I've adhered them straight onto 
the um, the glass itself so so that they're protected and stay so they can stay in place so that's the front and the back and at the top here I've just added this beautiful little lace um, trim I'm not sure if this is from the lace mama but um, or from my stash there and I've just distressed it with a bit of vintage photo um, mixed with a bit of water and just sprayed that on and up here is just another cherry lin dye so it's nice and simple and in here I just have st uh, storing this particular uh, strain of pearls that I found at the charity not the charity store at the flea market um, <clears throat> I like this color this color pearl a lot it's, it's like a really really vintage tone and it might be glass also because it's quite heavy and it was actually a broken piece of jewelry that the lady had in this box for two dollars and I loved it for the pearls and for two dollars it's really hard to find this sort of like antique creamy champagne color pearl and I'm actually holding it I'm not using it yet just saving it for special projects because it's so beautiful and I've just um, stored that in this little glass jar like that okay so I'll share you with you guys the bag next uh, this bag is just an ordinary um, brown or craft paper bag that you can get anywhere it's a good size I don't have the measurements of it but just slightly smaller than I think it's an A5 size slightly smaller than A4 and I've um, to start off with I've just uh, used acrylic paint to give it a white wash so it's the craft color is not so strong and to give it that really shabby chic feel so I've just went all over the bag as well as on the handles um, just the white acrylic paint just to give it um, softness the paper color collection that I've used for um, this altered bag is the um, pink paisley's butterfly garden collection I love it so much um, I actually created this when I created the projects um, let me see if you guys remembered me um, when I made um, the card the star mini as well as the star box that I altered if you guys remembered um, the vid where I was showcasing this to you guys a while ago I actually created this bag at the same time so it was a really long time ago um, let's have a look here so once I've um, whitewashed the base of uh, the craft bag I've just chopped up a piece of the designer paper and used a Martha Stewart punch and punched the top of it let me see if you guys can see there here just use the Martha Stewart punch and chopped the top of it just to give it dimension at the top I laid the piece of paper all the way down and then I just went on to um, cutting a lot of die cuts from Cherry Lynn as well as Tim Holtz birdcage die and on the edge die here the on the edge die is actually a piece of chipboard um, that I've cut into a square size and then on the edge I've used the the um, on the edge die there just to create the um, the butterfly punch right on the edge here the butterfly die sorry and then on top of that I've just went over uh, with my acrylic paint and just dab 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 it to give this really shabby chic sort of um, uh, let me zoom in as you guys can see there it's just to give it this sort of like really shabby chic sort of look on the edge there as well as on the chipboard the base of the chipboard as well as on the bird cage I only um, use craft chipboard and then I've just went over with one acrylic paint and just give it this really shabby tattered look so behind the bird cage here I've um, used this doohickey dye to make a tag and that just hides behind there like that um, I've used a magnolia flourish here also all the flowers I mentioned I use MFT dyes um, the little leaf here is by Magnolia also it came in a set with this flourish die here um, what else let's have a look um, more Martha Stewart leaf punches there and the little um, these particular little gold pieces are actually the cutout from the centerpiece in the flower here uh, here's a better picture the um, you see these these are where this little um, stamen piece came out and I've just cut these with gold cut stock and I didn't want to waste this part because it's so beautiful so I've just adhere that into random places also and this is a cherry lin dye that I've called it kind of like scrunched up and inked the edges and then just popped it there um, here's one of those cherry lin dyes that look like sweetheart blossoms a um, cherry lin butterfly dye here and then I've just used one of those um, butterflies from the lace mama here also uh, this trim down the bottom as well as on the top are from the lace mama on eBay um, I think that pretty much covers everything 
Uh, this particular um, die cut in here is a Spellbinders die. Um, I popped her up onto Pop Dots and just added more MFT flowers here and more Martha Stewart punches there. I also made another tag up here. It's just a heart tag that I've just like cut out the circle myself, backed it up with more paper from the designer paper and just tie some pink as well as tea dye seam binding on the edge there. And that just goes in there also. I've just created a pocket there and pop another doily at the back here. And here is a sentiment from the paper collection. It's just called Butterfly Garden. So really, really beautiful. At the back here, I have just um, cut out more designer paper from the same collection. Um, stuck that down. And um, on the bottom here, I've used um, a border punch to cut the edges and just adhere that on top of the other designer paper there. And that's pretty much my altered bag. And it came out super gorgeous. So I'm really happy with how they've turned out. So I hope you guys like this project also and inspires you to create some gorgeous projects like this. You can use it as a gift for a friend or you can use it to store pretty things in your craft room. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.